Hey guys, it's Arika Misha here in the kitchen with another quick meal. Gonna get you in and out. In and out. I saw this in the grocery store when I was grocery shopping. I said, oh, this right up my alley. Quick, cook it real quick. Oh, that's what I'm all about. And this is the new Legacy's food. It is by the Legacy brand, you guys see there. It is shrimp alfredo, wild caught U.S. shrimp, folded with pasta and a creamy Parmesan alfredo sauce. We'll see about that. All right, and it says here, new microwavable steam bag ready in minutes. So y'all, this so easy. Let's read this, let's see what's going on. Since 1943, cooking instructions, okay. Okay, uh, microwave, lay bag on side, microwave side one, flip bag, lay bag on side, microwave side two, let stand for one minute to cool, pour in the dish, okay. Is that easy? We gonna see. All right, so I guess, I'll go ahead and put it in the microwave. All right, so we cook on side two. Let me see here. Cause they got a lot of activity going on right here, you all. All of this stuff, so. All right, so it looks like I cook it on one side. Okay, we cook it on side one for about six minutes, and then we cook it on side two for six minutes. Okay, so we just gonna lay it like this, cook it for six minutes, flip it, cook it for six minutes on that side. Let's go. Now y'all, looking at these shrimps on this picture, I guarantee these shrimps gonna be little. So that's why I got some extra shrimp, extra cooked shrimp to put in this. Cause I already know y'all. Y'all know these shrimps gonna be little. Maybe I'll be surprised. It don't matter. I'm still adding the other shrimp. So let's go. Let's go over to the microwave door. Let me see, do I need to break anything up? I don't think I need to do anything, but all right. So laying it flat. I want to do a, wait, steam hole can be hot, remove from microwave with caution. Okay, well, oh, the little steam hole right there. I was like, well, what all that? What a hole that? I mean, what a hole, hole, hole. Y'all, y'all heard me, don't do that. What a hole that? I'm like, wait, okay, cause this the little steam hole right there, y'all. See that little thing right there, little steam hole right there? Okay, all right, so. Quick and easy. This gonna be quick and easy, y'all. This just gonna be too quick, I think, but whatever. Let's put it in the microwave. <laughs> Come on, you all. Let's go over here to the microwave. Let's go over here to our microwave. Get y'all up there. Point y'all up there to the microwave. <laughs> all right. So we got lay it flat. All right, we lay it flat. Y'all see, it's flat. All right. So six minutes. Oh, not sixty. Stop it, microwave. Okay, y'all, six minutes. Y'all see, I got a program for six minutes. We're gonna go ahead and let that cook, y'all. And then I'm gonna flip it to the other side and cook up for six more minutes. And we'll see how this look. Okay, better be good. All right, y'all, we'll see. We'll be back. Okay, y'all, I know y'all thought I wasn't coming back, but I'm back. It happened so quick. So, six minutes on each side. I just flipped it. You know, y'all know what we're supposed to do. It's hot, I just took it out the microwave, so I gotta be careful. So, I'm just trying to figure out how big these shrimps gonna be, y'all. Mm, guess it don't really matter. I got some extra shrimp. I, I gotta be careful, it's hot. Careful, this jump hot. Okay. I should have got about three bags of this. I should have known it wasn't gonna be a lot. It felt all fat in the bag because you know it was all frozen. So let me bring y'all in so y'all can see how it look. Hold on, let me bring y'all in so y'all can really see how it look. Okay, y'all can see. All right, so. Let me mix it up. Okay. I mean, it look good. Smells good. Let me, let me show y'all the shrimp. I mean, you know what? The shrimp ain't as small as I thought they would be. But. They are all right. Let 
Mm. It's hot. Okay. I mean, it looks good, y'all. Smells good. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, next time I get about three bags, <laughs> you know, for me and the girls. So, you know, we can at least have leftovers. But it's not bad, y'all. And it looks like they have the uh, penne. Y'all know I know about those noodles. Penne. Looks like it's the penne noodles. That's cute. Okay. It's pretty decent. All right. Let me taste that uh, Fredo sauce. Okay. It tastes good. But you all already know. It tastes good. It's, it's, it needs some help. So y'all know I'm a healthy. So we're going to do some garlic powder. Let's get some garlic powder in here. Because it need a little flavor now. Need a little flavor. So we got some garlic powder. Got my onion powder. Okay. Got the garlic powder. I got some Parmesan cheese. Put some Parmesan cheese in there. All right, let me see. Ain't got but a little bit left. I think I might just... Nah, I ain't gonna throw it all in there. I ain't gonna throw it all in there. That'd be too much. And y'all already know, I gotta put my parsley in there. Y'all know. Okay, child. All right, parsley, child. Okay. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw my shrimp in here. Remember my extra shrimp? They already cooked. Already cooked shrimp. I'm gonna go ahead and dump those in there, too. Because, yeah, we need some more shrimp in here. All right, let's mix it up. You know, sometimes you just gotta help recipes, you know. Gotta help it. But this look good, y'all. I'm hooking it up. Because it needed some help. It definitely needed some flavor, some seasoning. I mean, it was bland. I mean, it just tastes like, you know, like a little bit. Needed a little help. Thank God I had got some extra shrimp, child. Definitely need it. Okay. Oh, it's cute, y'all. Look at my shrimp I added. And those are the Publix uh, already cooked, pre-cooked, uh, extra large shrimp that I have. That I added. Okay. All right. Looking good. All right, well. Y'all see it? You straighten y'all up so y'all can see better. Oh, look. All right, I'm going to take y'all in so y'all can see it a little better. All right, came out pretty good. Let me see if I can give y'all a better look. Yeah, came out pretty decent. Hold up. Give y'all a good look at it. But you know what? That's not bad for a little quick, you know, six minutes one side, six minutes the other side. Flip it, flip it. That's not bad, you know, flip it, flip it, rub it, you know. Oh, no, you know, yep. <laughs> I know I'm a mess. All right, well, y'all seen me do it. So you know I did it. That was quick and easy. And look like it's going to taste good, especially since I added, you know, my little, you know, put my little twist on it. So, man, quick, easy. Six, six, that's 12 minutes. Y'all got trip by freight on 12 minutes. That's how easy they making it for y'all, for us. 12 minutes I had shrimp alfredo. Come on now, y'all. It don't get no better than that. And you know what? If you got a larger family, you just get a couple bags. I mean, one bag serves about three people two if you're greedy <laughs> like me y'all know I love food so all right well y'all that's it that was quick and easy and the word of the day y'all know I always try to have a word of the day for y'all is do your best always do your best I know sometimes won't feel like it but you know what just just do your best if you know that you've done your best at the end of the day you're satisfied hey all I know I did my best and you know you ain't half, you know how to do it. Word of the day. Always do your best. Don't get mad if you know you ain't do your best. Come on now. All right. That's just what God been dealing with me on. Do your best. All right. All right, y'all seen me do it. So you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.